am the narco man. And you're not. While we're at it, I'll let you in on one of my trade secrets. I'm sure you recall many times. I sworn to you this, or I sworn to you that. Like after the Valentine's Day series. I swore there wasn't anybody else. Well, I noticed you were not too trusting. You were kind of nosy, if you ask me. And you did research. You spied on things I did. Well, for me, that was simple. You happened to overhear a conversation where I had said, oh baby, I can't wait to see you, or something like that. And you confronted me. Well, once again, I'm a good liar. So I kept my straight face and told you that you mistakenly heard something wrong. That's not what I said. Or I said I was just kidding, or I was pretending just because I knew you were listening. Regardless of what I said on each occasion, my effective tool that works every time. First off, I discredit whatever you think you heard and tell you that you're completely off. And then I take it a step further and tell you that you're simply paranoid. And then I go into a fake rage. Because at this point you were believing everything I dished out to you. So I would do something like this. Something like this. Something like this. Something like this. Could you even suspect me of doing something with that person? You know it's you and you only. What is wrong with you? You are so paranoid. You know, maybe I should date that other person since you're so hell-bent on the fact you think I am. How do you like that? It worked. It got you to back down. It got you to feel guilty because I know how to manipulate your emotions. And it got me what I wanted once again. Because I am the narcopath and I get whatever I want! You know, in order for me to maintain my status as the narcopath, it does require a few skills on my part. Well, one of those skills is I can read people. So, for example, with you, I was giving you lines of BS left and right, and my measure of whether or not you're worth pursuing is if you stick around. Because Lord knows, with other people, they pick up on my first piece of BS and they're gone. And I know, well, that one wasn't right. Thing is, with people like you, you have a tolerance, evidently. I see it as a gift. You tolerate such abuse, as some people call it, and as far as I'm concerned, you're fair game. If you find out that I lied to you, and even though I covered it up and made up an excuse, you still hung around, I took that as, well, you believe me, even if you said you didn't. See, that's how I get away with things, because if you had been one of those people with more morals, or with more intelligence, you would have run off after the first instance of fraud. See, you showed promise. You still talk to me. So if you're still talking to me, the game is on. That's my rule. Remember, I'll always love you. I know you love me. Tell me you love me.